There are a bunch of uh, inspections happening. Rough HVAC, rough electrical, rough plumbing, rough one horn, whatever it is. We're on week 23. Just like the address, the street number, 23 Calendar Avenue. So. Where's Bree? She is so excited to get on site today and see what's going on. She could be there 10 minutes earlier than us. Tires are too big. Are you here? Yeah, I'm here. Uh, you have a helmet? Nope. I got one for you. Um, okay, so for today, what happened? My God. So we got an email uh, on Tuesday and it just said all of these inspections were scheduled. And so I started freaking out <sighs> because we've done kind of a preliminary walkthrough with like electrical and plumbing, but I wouldn't say it was finalized. But yeah, we walked through, I mean, the bar is being framed out. So now I finally have a sense of space. <laughs> My God, you're gonna literally have the bar built like in like two minutes. We're gonna go up and come down, it's gonna be done. <laughs> How do you do that? <laughs> That's awesome. That's crazy. That is crazy. Not just Guapo, Ooh good workers too, you know? Like I said, I, I love auctions, like restaurant equipment auctions are like weirdly fun for me. And so I already bought all of our back bar coolers. I got a good price. They were new. I was excited about it. And then today I came in and I'm like looking. <laughs> I don't know. Is it possible? No. All right. Damn it. Well, I'll tell you what the problem with this is, why I don't love it, is this is behind the bar, but we have a wall coming out to here and then these so you can't you can't put equipment here and so if since we put the holes here it's like i have lost all this space behind the bar that's storage that's freaking refrigeration that's all of it so i don't like that and they you know the beer guy basically told john where to put these so it's not john's fault and if we could like putting it closer here, even if we have to run the beer lines over here, is better for me because it condenses the space that's okay. unusable. So, yes. So maybe we'll go and try to put one. Oh. This ain't yeah. just a <laughs> Brilliant. It's brilliant. <laughs> He's very proud of himself. <laughs> And honestly, the electrician did like a bang up job. Like I went through kind of my list of things that I just like told him. I'm gonna catch stuff left and right because there's no way. And he actually like down to like a, the stupid outlet that I requested in the back kitchen. He actually did everything I said. Uh, but yeah, we're coming back on Friday after the inspections. I mean, they, there is a, obviously like a potential that they don't pass all of them. Oh. Uh, so that could happen, but I feel like I don't know why they wouldn't pass. We're warming up now, so we're gonna go. We're gonna go meet John for a croissant. Are you going to finish that croissant? Is he just snacking on croissants? That's it, right? Duh. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> we walked in, and. John said, we passed. We passed everything. Four inspections, four out of four, we passed. Plumbing, HVAC, framing, electrical, all the roughs are done on the basement and the main level. Now we can kind of, we can walk up here, see up here. John gave us a little tour. Parkour. <laughs> Parkour. <laughs> so there's a lot happening right now. Except for each, you see, they're at a standstill, obviously, if you guys sleeping on the roof over here. <laughs> but other than that, it's going pretty well. He's still sleeping. It's been an hour. So let's go ahead. Yeah, let's do it. Awesome. Let's, let's carry him downstairs. <laughs>